Maybe if you're tired of Ferrari or if you just want to try something maybe a bit more extreme, especially in terms of design, you could go to Lamborghini. I recommend the LP564 Gallardo, which is the faster version of the Gallardo. And you could always go Murcielago with the LP640 or LP670. But the most top of the line there is today is the Aventador with its 700 horsepower V12. It's a stunning car when you see it in real life. Let's race all these three examples against one of the best and fastest competitors there are today from Ferrari and Koenigsegg and even Ford and see what the result is. Gustav Super Races shows you the world's fastest cars put against each other in adrenaline-filled drag races. Gustav runs a successful YouTube channel with soon over 200 million views and a great reputation within the world of racing. In this show, he will present the best races he's ever organized with rare supercars from Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and other top brands. These races share a unique look with the raw performance of the world's fastest cars. So back in 2009, the Lamborghini LP560 Gallardo was quite new. We tried it against big brother, the Lamborghini Murcielago LP640, with a V12 and 640 horsepower. Both of these cars have sequential gearbox, and uh, I was a bit surprised at the result. Are you up and out now? Okay, LP640 versus LP560 from 60 km per hour. We have a little chance, a little, man, see that he's from start. Lägger bakom honom. Bakter det för stenskott bara. Nej, de var ju jämna för mig så att säga. Ja. Så gör vi till dig så byter jag bara plats i dig i 5-16 sen. Okej. Okay. Får du stressa honom lite? Jaga på honom. Okay. <laughs> Och undvik stenskott bara så lägger det lite i vänster bakom honom. Den här kurvan är borta kan man ta i lätt i 170 i alla fall. Okej. Okay. Hade du, men stabilitetskontrollen var helt av där i starten. Ja, ja. Det är jag ser det. Just det. Annars så tog jag det på... And what speed did we reach on the on the straight? Did you actually read the speed? Uh -huh. Fast. Enough. Enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it was a bit on the limit when we break there. It's uh, not too much uh, strip left. Yeah, we're taking now. <laughs> so we won. <laughs> the same day we tried the black Lamborghini LP560-4 Gallardo versus the. Murcielago LP640. We also had a beautiful balloon white Lamborghini LP564 Gallardo. That is a pearl white metallic color uh, and we raced that against the black Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 as well.
vet jag. Det var helt jämnt va? Ja, han var ju... Det var lite... Det kändes som att han stack iväg lite. Det var ju lite dåligt grepp i starten ja. där precis. Ja. Men sen tror jag att det var helt jämnt faktiskt. One of the most beautiful and best sounding cars today is the Ferrari 599 GTO. The GTO badge makes it legendary. It refers back to the 250 GTO which today fetches for around 20 million dollars or euros. It's like, it could be that as well. Uh, it has a V12 of 670 horsepower and a beautiful screaming engine that redlines close to 8,000 RPMs. We pitted that 670 horsepower V12 against Lamborghini's most powerful and top of the line car, the Lamborghini LP700-4 Aventador with its 700 horsepower V12. To be honest, I was quite surprised at the result. I didn't think it should turn out as it did. Okay, we have a 599 GTO versus a Lamborghini Aventador. I can drop it on some. With high revving, normally aspirated cars like these, it's really imperative that you rev it up to the red line. Not so it cut off, but just before the red line. And you have LED lights on the 509 GTO at 12 o'clock position on the steering wheel, which makes, makes it really easy to see where the red line is. So you really rev that 599 GTO engine almost to the red line. It's really a tough match against the Aventador. If this would be from a standstill, the result would be completely different because Aventador would just jump with its amazing launch control and four-wheel drive. But now it's from a roll, which happens most in everyday driving and would really even these cars. So we matched the Ford GT, but with a supercharger added to it, producing around 800 horsepower versus the Lamborghini Aventador. The Ford GT is a manual gearbox, uh, so uh, an Aventador is uh, sequential, uh, so the result is quite even. Det är 
Det är när han växlar som han tappar. Han växlar snabbt för att ja. man är lådan på det Men det var det piss, piss vajs. Ja, men vi, vi, ja, vi gav honom starten där lite på något sätt. <laughs> men, 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 men lägger man ihop alla de här filmerna och alla ser ett svep, då kan man bilda sin uppfattning att de är jämna, får geten i snabbare fart. Vi kan, vi kan testa stilla stund här från tillbaks bara. Nej. Nej. What many in the world have waited for was the showdown between the Lamborghini LP700-4 Aventador and its arch rival Ferrari. Ferrari has with the F12 Berlinetta created a really fast Grand Tourer with 740 horsepower V12 and its double clutch gearbox. Aventador doesn't have double clutch, it has some solution between double clutch and sequential gearbox uh, and uh, I was really curious to see the result from a roll between the F12 Berlinetta and Aventador. Let's see this first race. So today in 2013, 2014, it's really incredible you could go in a store and buy a standard car with 740 horsepower. And to that it's even normally aspirated. We pitted it against the Aventador for a second time to see if there really was a few car lengths difference. Okay, this is the Ferrari F12 versus the Lamborghini. Aventador. This is a rolling start from 50. Since the 50s and 60s, Lamborghini and Ferrari have been arch rivals. The story goes that Ferrucci Lamborghini wanted to buy a Ferrari that Enzo couldn't provide him with. Enzo Ferrari, the founder of Ferrari. So Ferrucci said, I build my own, and on that way it is. Today, Lamborghini is owned by a VAG group, who owns Audi and Bugatti as well, but they really ramped up production last year. So the pro pro products are really incredible with their stealth design, over the top design. So we raced it against the F12 Berlinetta from Ferrari a third time. Vilken sida? Okay, this is the Lamborghini Aventador against the Ferrari F12. It's a rolling start from 50 kilometers per hour. This is for GT board. 2013.
just an impression inside from the car. The, the sound is amazing. You can really hear the V12 engine revving there in the back. It's a really nice car. Nice details. The stitching and the, the interior. Yeah, Lamborghini made this really, really nice. Looks like a Tomcat fighter plane cockpit. There is the engine. When we had the Aventador in place, uh, where we had the Bugatti Veyron Vitesse, we wanted to race these two against each other. It's almost double the power in the Bugatti Veyron and more than double the price if you compare the price of the Vitesse and the Aventador. So once the cars get rolling, the difference of the car's performance is quite huge. Lamborghini LP700 Aventador versus Bugatti Veyron Vitesse. Vi får ju typ dra också tidigare här. Beautiful with like orange, world record. Edition car. Se till att vi har kär med typ full gas. Nu bara dra, 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 stick allt kvar. Okay, Mark. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's stop. And we we will just floor it from here and. Two seconds after you floor it and try a cat and overtake us. Okay. From here, from uh, here. Uh, uh, yeah, and you don't need to do launch control. Just uh, hit it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we will hit it. Yeah, right now, basically. If you ahead. Yes. Yes. One, two seconds, okay. and then you. Oh, just stamp up. So if you have one of the best production super sport bikes that are available today, the BMW S1000RR, start from a standstill versus Lamborghini Aventador LP700 and Bugatti Veyron Vitesse, it's going to be a quite interesting race. This race has in a half a year several million of viewers and uh, uh, when you see it you can maybe understand why. Uh, it was a beautiful race. How do you think it will go? Now it will go good. How much horsepower does it have? 1,200. Okay, 1,200. <laughs> Vitesse, it says. So it's a French car? Yes. <laughs> or German. Or German. <laughs> okay, this is launch control with the Bugatti Vitesse versus the Lamborghini Aventador. This is going to be awesome. And Gustav is gonna launch us away.
Let's do a new run from here. We just be sure yeah. Gustav Super Races shows you the world's fastest cars put against each other in adrenaline-filled drag races. Gustav runs a successful YouTube channel with soon over 200 million views and a great reputation within the world of racing. In this show, he will present the best races he's ever organized with rare supercars from Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and other top brands. These races share a unique look with the raw performance of the world's fastest cars.